Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have seven wooden cross DIYs that I previously made in other videos and I'm going to use some Dollar Tree super glue wood glue to glue together these geometric beads and I am just going to glue seven in a row and I'm doing them hole to hole except for the top one which I'm going to have the hole face into the sides because I'm going to string some beads through there and then I'm gluing two on either side you see where the holes are I'm gluing two on either side of the cross like three down and then I'm gluing on these wee half beads to cover up the holes on the ends and then I stain it with some early American wood stain and this is a wee love heart that I got on Amazon so I'll link the heart the geometric beads and the tassel was pre-made from Amazon so I'll link that as well and I'm just hot gluing the end of a skewer to push um, the twine through I'm just glu gluing it onto the skewer and then I'm pushing it through because it's kind of a tight fit and then I'm gluing the two ends together so that I can put the beads on and I think I did like five or six beads and then I am just tying them on that top piece with the holes I'm stepping off the ends and then I just push the knot through and that's it oh no it's not <laughs> I burn all the wee hairs. Okay, that's it. So this is a cute wee cross for a tear tray or something like that. I'm using the Dollar Tree super glue wood glue again. And then I have three rows of beads, the geometric beads, and they are 14 high like 14 high three across for this part of the cross but if you want to you can make it two beads across you can make the cross longer you can just change up the size to whatever you want this is just what I decided to do so I'm just gluing them all together and I am gluing them with the holes facing each other and then I'm also gluing any parts of the beads that are going to touch and you just want to make sure the holes are facing to the sides and not at the top and the bottom because we are going to cover those holes with some beads afterwards If you wanted to, instead of using the beads, you could glue some of that wee burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree or some other kind of ribbon around the sides and cover up the holes. That would look nice. So this is the very top and I'm just using a brush to get rid of any excess glue. So here I have some of the half beads, they're like 10 mm millimeter, and I'll link them down below as well and I'm just gluing some in the middle of the cross so it's a cross on top of a cross <laughs> and I just left um, one bead around the outside of it And you just want to try and make sure you get rid of any excess glue because the stain won't take to, to it. So here I am just going to start gluing on the beads around the outside but that first bead I'm not going to 
that, yeah, the first geometric bead of the hole, I'm not going to glue a half bead to that because that's where I'm going to put the twine through. And then I just did all the way around it with the other beads and then I stained it with early American wood stain. I also stained some beads and I'm just going to thread them through. And then I'm going to tie it in a knot. And then I'm going to pull it through so that you can't see it. Oh, I use a skewer to push it through. And then you don't want to see the knot. Of course you can stain these or paint these or leave them plain. Any colour that you like. So I wanted to add a bit extra so I'm using some gold metallic paint. And I'm just rubbing that over the half beads on the front if you have some rubbing buff you can use that but I'm just using my finger and then I decided just to rub it on all the other beads to bring out the wee square shape on it and I just did that over the whole thing Also, this is up to you. You could always dry brush it and distress it if you want to. And this is how it turned out. And I love how the gold looks on that wood. This is a wooden cross from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it with some white Waverly chalk paint and then I used some ink Waverly chalk paint and I just brushed that, just dry, like lightly brushed it around the outside and then I used some silver metallic paint over the top of that while it was still wet and just kind of blended it in to make a darker silver colour and then these tile stickers are the silver ones from Dollar Tree and I am just sticking them just spacing them as evenly as I can and sticking them inside the cross if you want to you can use extra glue but they were sticky enough for me again you could choose any colours you like they do have other colours of these tiles so you don't have to choose these colours but I love how this one turned out For this DIY you need two packs of the 72 um, Tumbling Tower Block game and um, uh, some Dollar Tree Super Glue wood glue or any wood glue So I'm going to glue these tower blocks three across and five high. And then on the second tower block down, I'm going to glue another three to each side. I was deciding if I was going to put another one. <laughs> and I made two of these. And now I am just adding on some blocks around the outside. And these ones are standing up because this is going to make a standing planter. So just glue them to each other and to the bottom piece all the way around. Oh, okay, I didn't do it all the way around. <laughs> I did half. And then I joined the two together. 
It's a while ago I made this. And then I just hold it in place. It doesn't take that long to set. And then I started gluing the other side. I had to put a few blocks in to keep that side lifted up. But um, anyway, I keep adding the blocks and I just do around the bottom the bottom half of the cross and I leave the top part open because that's where you're going to put the plants in. If you don't want to do that, then you can just close that off with the, the blocks. I decided to do the two sides at the top of the cross as well. I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax then this plaque is from Dollar Tree and I stained it with the Jacobean wood stain and now I'm using some of the wood glue just to stick the cross in the middle of the plaque to make a stand and you can choose any colours you want for this you can put beads on it, you can distress it it's up to you I just stuck some wee succulents in the top So I made another cross the same and this time I am gluing the tower blocks all the way around the outside of the whole cross. And you can make this one bigger if you want to as well. You can make it thicker and wider, it's up to you. Just try and make sure that all your blocks that are standing up are standing up straight. And I won't show you me doing them all, I will do the rest off camera. So this is what it looks like. And that's what it looked like if you closed in the last cross at the top. And I'm going to stain it with some Jacobean wood stain. Again, it's up to you what colours you want to, to do these. And I just filled it with some rocks and some succulents. And it's a nice wee planter for on your table or wherever you want to put it. So this is 15 or 16 blocks high. I tried to count it <laughs> and I can't remember because I did make this a long time ago. So anyway, I glued all those together, um, seven of them, and now I'm just gluing them to each other. So this is going to be like a butcher block looking cross. <laughs> 
But again, you make it whichever size that you like. You don't have to make it exactly the same as mine. And then I'm gluing together six sets of four blocks for each side. And then I glue these on like three, no, four blocks down from the top on either side. I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax. And this is how it turned out. I just stuck a candle and some succulents on it. seven of these wee drawer boxes from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking the middle part out and then I'm arranging them like this to make a cross and then I'm going to glue them together with some wood glue and these clips are from Dollar Tree as well actually haven't seen these boxes in apart from the odd random one that was like just a drawer or just the outside part but I haven't seen them in my Dollar Tree for so long anyway I'm just giving a, a quick sand and get rid of any jaggy edges once it's all dry and then I stained it with some Waverly antique wax and then I'm gonna dry brush some ivory Waverly chalk paint on the top and again it's up to you what colours you want to make your crosses so here I did the same thing with some beads and I just hot glued the end of some twine and then I'm just going to glue that in the other end to the back of the cross because I'm going to make a hanger. I just use the popsicle stick and some hot glue. Then I thread the beads on. If you don't want to use beads, you could just put like a, a wee hanger on the back or a sawtooth hanger. And then I just did the same thing. I hot glued the twine down with a piece of popsicle stick. And then I just cut off the excess twine. So I didn't like how that was looking, so <laughs> I, I put some more antique wax over the top and then I just filled it with some succulents and some Spanish moss. But you can make it into a wee shelf, put wee trinkets in it, it's up to you. Let me know which one of these is your favourite. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next video, bye!